so much talk about this coronavirus and everyone's just running rampant. I literally just came back from hustling to the store, fought with somebody for some toilet paper, jumped over somebody who had a, you know, case of water with them, you know, whatever. But I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I think nobody's on just yet, but that's just fine. I'm going to get things together here. Uh, my name is Drew and I have here my main guy, Rory. We're going to be going through um, our Shopify Build Long series and talking about this power of the story brand. But before we do that, I want to make sure that I bring a few things up to your uh, to your attention. I want to show you some of the successes that some of our students have been experiencing within our uh, community here. And um, the first person up here is Michael. I know you guys can't see that. I need to find a way to like zoom these in so you guys can better see. But this is Michael. Um, he was the one that watched a, a video from Kevin doing an example of what Alex Becker has done and really jumped on the opportunity and was able to capitalize on it. And within 72 hours, he was able to bank $12,000 within a store in sales. So that's about three days. Now, take a look at this though. He took he took action almost immediately and had 96 at the carts and purchase because he hopped on a hot product and was able to pretty much cash in on that. Um, so that's very powerful. All right. Um, and, and that was just simply him just taking action on doing that. And again, and if you want to know what the item is, I believe it was uh, when the electric scooter was really hot and popping. So everybody wanted a piece of that, especially for the holiday season. Um, the next person we have up is Lana. Lana made her first sale and, and you know, it's always exciting when you make your first sale and you know, it didn't take her long to get there either. Right. So that means, you know, I want to mix them in there so you can see a few people who were, um, you know, who were just coming in who can actually see that they were also um, the ability to create their first sale within a few weeks or so. Um, <clears throat> next person we have here is Jeffrey. And Jeffrey is one who's been running an experiment on ads and seeing if there was, you know, a necessity to, um, you know, run ads or not. And of course he ran his experiment and you can see what he was able to accomplish about $5,252 in sales. And it's just amazing for over 194 orders. So guys, these are just a few examples that I wanted to show you um, for some of the people that are able to do this in our community. And this is now what we're gonna go into is show you how to build a store to build that type of rapport with your customers as well, okay? So now that we have, oh, we have about 19 people on, it's perfect. Um, so if you guys are seeing this really quickly, this notification, this is from a mobile snapshot. Click get on live notifications so you guys can get notified. Um, and if you're on desktop, it should be in the shape of a bell where you can just say get on live notifications if you're on desktop. So it'd be, um, you know, it'd be perfect for you guys to hop in on that, okay? Um, the other thing we want to do, and this is going to be perfect, we do a giveaway every week, right? And it's the Kevin David uh, Unfair Advantage book. In order to win this or be in the, in the running, we do this at the end of every week, um, is to like this post, hashtag live or hashtag replay if you're watching on the replay, and then leave a comment or a question because that's what keeps us um, keeps us engaged in the community and allows people to ask questions that they need in order for you to uh, be able to learn what you need to learn for your business, all right? And just for proof, look, boom, I got my copy right here. So if you guys want to get your copy of the Unfair Advantage book, Go ahead and do that because it is worth it. And this is what you'll be winning if you are um, selected as a winner. All right. <clears throat> uh, let me see what else we have here. Um, that's pretty much it. So right now we're going to head over to um, and let Rory do a quick demo. And this is our uh, Shopify drop shipping build long series. We've been building it for a few weeks. Um, we've been showing you guys live exactly what we've been doing and exactly what we've been, um, some of the complications we've been running into, obviously, and, and how we've been able to dodge that. So one of the mainly being our account for Facebook had gotten shot down out of nowhere. We got that up and running again. And Rory and I have been tag teaming with each other, trying to get um, to make sure that we are able to you know, get to the point of creating a steady amount of sales using Facebook ads and, and different tactics such as that. So um at this point, I'm going to let Roy go ahead so we can do a demo really quickly. And then we're going to touch on a few powerful points of how to build that story brand to, to really speak to your customers that are landing on your page so that way your bounce rate can drop as well. All right. So here we go. Uh, well, we've got technical issues straight up. Oh, here we go. No, there we go. Things are getting, mate, things just work out. When you're... <laughs> but, well, 
First of all, thanks to everyone for tuning in, except for Ayub, who obviously has no class at all and wants to swear at people on, on, on live streams and that. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's a reflection on you, mate, not us. So keep going, buddy. Hang around. Um, okay, so guys, just catching you up with the show. All right, so we're into week nine now. Okay, we've been going kind of, you know, just, just plugging your way at this so you guys can follow on. Uh, it's been crazy this week with Kevin David. We've been releasing, we've released a massive, massive thing that's going to be a massive game changer. All right, it's called Amazon Automation. Not going to talk about that today, but uh, just keep an eye out for that, guys, because if you've got money to drop and you want to make some big money and go, you know, have Kevin David as your contractor, uh, take a look at it. Okay, but this is about e commerce, all right? A fantastic platform where you can do drop shipping, uh, low barrier of entry, and basically, you know, build your own brand and build something that you're really passionate about and you find um, that gets you out of bed in the morning, right? So um, we've been doing this, Drew and I, for about eight weeks now. Okay, it hasn't been easy. In fact, Drew's done most of the work, um, <laughs> but uh, but you know, we're doing. We're getting there. We're getting there. We had some real breakthroughs this week. We had our first two sales. So give us a like if you're happy that we got our first two sales. Let us know what you think of you, but I really want to hear what you've got to say, mate. All right. So just catching you up. Okay. Yeah, we actually had a total of four sales. Bloody echo or something here. Really? Uh, you got, can you, are you guys hearing an echo? I don't hear an echo. I wonder if every, anybody else does. If you guys hear an echo, let us know. All right. Okay. So let me share my screen. Okay. So guys, very quickly, this is our store. And today we're going to talk about building a story brand. And I'm going to be like just mass, <laughs> smashing through this and then leaving Drew um, on his own with you guys. It'd be nice. Um and basically got to go and jump on a call for one of our, one of our students. So we've got eight back-to-back -back calls today. So this is a quick one jumping in to show you guys where we're at so far. So as you can see, this is our store. Check us out now. Drew came up with that name. It was an amazing. After we tried lots of different names, we actually workshopped the names on this show. Um, I'll just very, very take you th uh, quickly through this, okay? So this is our website, free shipping worldwide. Okay, that was a <laughs> cause of problem for us because in, in the first week of advertising, we were advertising free shipping worldwide, but uh, people were getting charged for shipping on the checkout. Yep. So we had, what was it, 116 add to carts or something, Drew? Yeah, it was it was insane amounts. So the balance rate was incredibly high, obviously. Yeah, then Facebook banned us because we were – um, being, doing, doing misleading things, and it's probably the first time I've ever ever agreed with a band. Band, <laughs> uh, okay. But you know, we're at back on track. Drew hustled really hard. We found a drop shipper who's in the US. Okay, I've got my first product coming out. I was hoping to have that here um, today, but I think they may have delivered it, and now it's at my post office because I didn't sign for it or something. Um, okay. But this start, this is starting to take, you know, take take shape now, and um, we're all getting really excited here. So, just want to take it. What we're going to talk about today, very quickly, is building a story brand. Okay, this was our copy that we had smashed out very very quickly to get it on the show. Our copywriter did a great job, but at the same time, you know, we haven't been getting the conversions we want. Okay, so we're going to switch it. We're switching up the copy to be a lot more user focused today. Okay, but as you can see, we build this out. This is a one-page store, all right? This is a one-product, one-page store, okay? And basically, it takes me the user through a journey, and then it goes to give me, you know, give it to me now, and you can purchase the product. It's got a really nice uh, smooth add to cart, and, you know, you can go and you can purchase it, and it's $19.97 wherever it is in the world, Okay. So that's great. How did we find this amazing product and why are we doing one page websites? Um, well, the whole point is guys, you know, when you start a Shopify store, okay, unless you've got a massive budget, 
you have a really clear vision you know exactly what you want to be selling and what niche you want to sell and you're in for the long game in terms of your vision and your idea right you just want to find viral products that sell right in your niche and then build your store out like that okay so we do that's what we're doing okay we're doing this so that you guys can follow along build out a one page store see if your product takes um get some traction all right and then teach you how to turn that into a community into something that people follow and people will buy from you because they connect with you okay all right because i know someone's going to ask why would i buy it on here when i can buy it on amazon all right well it's because you build a community because you build a brand and most importantly you put the story you put the customer as the hero in the story okay read building a story brand and definitely read in fact right now i'm just going to quickly t bring something up for you all right something up for you as soon as i find it oh look it's a sign um here it is this is our 13 copywriting secrets ninja hacks okay everyone who comments on our post today and shares our live post today will get one of these copies some of you might already have it okay but this is basically taking you through right how to write effective copy that's going to help you to connect with the consumer and put the consumer okay as the story as the hero in the story okay one of the biggest failures of business right when i see on their website and things like that and especially in e-commerce okay is that the business is putting themselves and positioning themselves as the hero in the customer's journey okay and what you what happens when you do that is you create conflict in the customer's mind you create noise around the message about what's in it for me and most importantly you're making the customer actually use calories to read all your crap and people have short attention spans okay so there's some here's a, here's a couple examples of of good copywriting okay be strong not hungry okay that's understanding the consumer okay get longer fuller hair okay dedicated to saving you money right these are you now stories move the world okay here is a great example of how stories move the world oh, i really like this one okay brainwashing people into luxury holidays is easy you just got to use a glossy retouch picture it's not that we're stupid or stingy. We just believe people have minds of their own. I mean, how good is that, guys? How good is that copy? All right, give us a like if you like that copy, okay? Because we're giving you all this stuff for free, okay? Now, stories move the world. If you know the brand Lemur, okay, it's a super high-end facial blend moisturizing cream. costs a lot of money, okay? And this is all sold through a story. It's about Dr. Huber who burned his face in a lab accident, okay? And after trying heaps of different options and, you know, products and medical science, he went out and he found to find a cure for himself. Okay. And then in the end of the day, he actually went, found all these minerals in the sea. Okay. And, and, and created Lemur, right. And that's what the story that people connect with. Okay. It's just that, 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 that journey that Dr. Huber went through. So if you want this book, let us know by clicking a like giving us a comment and giving us a share. Okay. Help us out guys. We're here to, we're here to help you. And right. guys, really quickly, I just want to hop in real quick where, um, before he hops in again, that book right there that Roy just showed you is, is, is literally compiled. It's kind of like a crash course to how to do some good copywriting to get your feet um, literally moving and get you guys right off the ground. So you guys can get started running. There you go, guys. Um, okay. So I'm not going to, I'm going to be really quick here. All right what did drew and i decided to do tech us out now okay it's a really good target audience all right we can we can target ourselves to people who are super want to be right at the front end of tech we can like um and i quote unquote you know target the nerd community all right or the geek community who are very proud of being geeks okay and and you know that that's just a saying in a word all right but geeks are, you know geeks you know, the ones, the geeks in school are now the richest people in the world, right? And all us dirt, dodgy jocks are just struggling along like I am still here. Okay. So um, basically, 
excited to do this, you know, do check us out now. We, we, we really love this product, okay? We think it's a, the product's an actual game changer. How did we find it? Well, we went into our software. This is a software that Kevin David and Lewis Sivan made specifically to fill a gap in the market where it was very hard to find hot trending products. You had to do a lot of, you know, a lot of searching around. Whereas we just, you just come in here, hopinspeak.com, click hot trending products, and it throws it all up here for you. Okay. Some strange things here. Um, but hey, if it's trending, I don't know. Okay. So basically, lots and lots of cool products here, lots of different niches, right? So you can definitely cruise along and just check through, right? If you like any of this stuff, you can click on it. Okay, RC cars, right? This is a little toy for you know. I remember those back in the day. My goodness, no killer, eh? And um, you know, you can add this to your favorites. You can get a rating of you know the five stars. Okay, you can see it's been added three days ago and it's already sold three three thousand three hundred twenty seven. Oh, whoops, no, that's that's growth. So this month, three thousand three hundred twenty seven was. 1236 the price is only 11 bucks okay and you can get yourself a free video here all right let's have a look at it because we always love just looking at our videos okay <laughs> you, can create a, you can create a video with a click of a button okay and you know obviously you can go up here and put in the proper customer targeted text okay and let's have a look at what we've got here Non-toxic, very good. It's a pretty cool toy, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm just going to close that down and just take you very quickly through all this stuff, okay? So, you know, you can get premium videos. In fact... Let me know, Drew. We're giving away one free premium video with every yeah, day. We are tonight. Okay, fantastic. Yep. So check that out. We're not going to go in, into it today, okay? Because I want to talk about the copy, and I've literally got 10 minutes left be, before i got to fly. Wow, a fidget, fidget spinner. That looks pretty cool. Look, so I can add these to my favorites, all right? I can go in here. All right, I can go in here. These are all my favorites. I can download the CSV. Okay, and actually, we teach you exactly how to upload the CSV to Shopify. It's very easy to import these products into your store with a click of a button and a few tidy ups. Okay, you can go to my videos, which I won't talk about today. Go to Shopify products and do a product search. Come on, baby. So if I can, I always like to type type in compass. What what else are we going to do today, Drew? Give me give me a word. Give me a um let's let's try headphones headphones right right let's see what pops up all right so as you can see you know it's not a great smart score low to medium monthly search volume with low number of competing sellers mm -hmm. it does look kind of um you know, seasonal in a way. Well, it definitely spikes during yeah, you know, sure. during the Christmas period. Um, a bunch of cool stuff in here, okay? So you can go through. I mean, you could literally just put headphones on your website if you wanted to, okay? Right? And call it Headphones R Us, right? But this, you can see here the word, word cloud. This is what people are looking for, right? Um, these are all the products. If I click into one. I shouldn't have clicked on that one because that looked sucky. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to go back here, but you can see these are all the these are all the products. Okay, and you can go through and you can check them out. And I mean, there's just that much stuff here. Okay, now I like to do that's Shopify, you know, shop search. Okay, so let's go headphones in here. 
see what see what's out there, right? Try, try and see if there are any good good competitors you're going to have to deal with. Radio Jack, our favourite guys. Hey Drew. Right. Okay, so you can see, you know, there's lots of people selling these headphones. Okay, but the whole point of what we're telling you to do, right, is to eliminate the competition. Okay, and how do you do that? By connecting with the customer. All right, having stronger copy, having a stronger story, creating a community around your store. If you guys, if you don't do this, okay, don't do Shopify, right? You won't sell a thing. If you think that you're going to jump onto, um, you know, an e-commerce store, smash a few pictures out, smash a few prices out, and people are just going to rock up and start buying, no. okay, that's not going to happen, right? This is why we're teaching you guys to build a community and and to to this is to do this properly, okay? Which takes time, which takes testing, which takes a lot of stuff ups and and messing around and and having to deal with suppliers and stuff like that, okay? But the best thing about it is. All right, we're teaching you how to do this on a limited budget. Okay, so next here, we go to Top Shopify stores, and I will just take you through a couple of these just to show you. Okay, bulletproof.com. Let's, oh, I like this is, this is the one we looked at last week. I like this store. Tarot classes and supply for the modern witch. Okay. I really love this store. It's just, you know, it's for you, the modern witch. Our faculty of monsters guide you through, guide you towards self-discovery. Get bespoke tarot accessories and guided introspection with our app, okay? So, you know, Labrinto's Academy's collection of tarot decks and accessories, and it's just beautiful photography, Okay. Really, really nice copy. Your tarot school supplies. I don't know why they why it's school supplies. <laughs> um, I think they're promoting like an academy style thing, like how to learn, uh, how to do, right. you know, tarot card reading and such. Yeah, right. I get it. I get it. You know, and and basically, it's all about tarot. Super focused. You know, and and it's a really you know witchcraft library. Like, there's just that. This is obviously had a lot of work put into it. Someone who's very passionate about what they do has built this store. And you can say is they know exactly who they're talking to and they've got a really specific target audience. So, you know, Shop Inspect is bringing all these stores up for you. Okay, and what is that? That looks, I gotta see, I gotta find out what that is. <laughs> oh, guy am, okay, so a very yoga store, okay. Uh, very, very, very big and bold, um, you know, but uh, the yoga store, very, very cool. And actually, I'm into yoga and I'm actually with my other business promoting my marketing agency services to actually yoga owners. I was going to okay. say that's right up your alley. Yeah, yeah, but I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of this store. It just, it's a bit too, I don't know, it, it's like a bit too in your face for me. Um, okay. So, and then you can find trending Shopify stores. And then we have, of course, Dropshipping University, where we teach you exactly how to make money using um, Shop Inspect. And then, of course, you can get $120, right, by just clicking this button and becoming our affiliate. Okay, and what does that mean? That means that you can basically create videos like this. You can create your own build along series and you can show people as you go right on put your put your experience on youtube put your shop inspect link at the bottom of the of the of every youtube video that you do and tell people a little about a bit about shop inspect and if they click your link right you'll get 50 percent of all sales right so if it's if it's you know per month right you'll get 50 percent per month if it's per year you'll get 50 percent per year as soon as they sign up okay we pay out every month we've paid out millions and millions of dollars of affiliate commissions across um, our three apps, Market of Magic, Zonbase, and Shop Inspect. Okay, and of course, Kevin David's affiliate programs for his courses. So if you want to get into doing Shopify and making it, you know, really, really committing and, and, and making, you know, your store a focus, okay, and building out a really beautiful store like Labyrinthos, okay, you can go um, and you can check out the link below. We'll drop it a bit later on, okay. 
Um, and, and, and you can go check out our, Kevin's free training on this. All right. Now, very, very quickly before I go, and I've got two minutes, okay? And then I'm just going to dump this all on Drew, and, and Drew, you're just going to have to handle it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Mate, you're more than capable, mate. You're more than capable, okay? So uh, this is my mate, JJ. He did me a massive favor. So if JJ Hiller is around in the comments, guys, please connect with him. Say hi. Um, probably one of my very best friends. Um I don't know when he sleeps because every time I ask him for something, he's there. Like this morning when I slept in um, and I said, where's the coffee? And he, he's like, oh, don't worry, mate, it's here. Okay. So I just want, I want you guys to, I just want to read through this copy for you guys. Okay. And we're going to put this copy in this week and then see how this affects our conversions. Okay. And, and then do start doing a bit of retargeting and stuff, which Drew's going to show you. Okay. So, Universal, this is JJ doing, you know, he's asked a few questions. Is it a data transfer cable? I don't think it is. But, you know, this is the kind of stuff they're look, that JJ looks into. Like, what are the selling points? What are the problems? Compatibility, yes, of course, it's compatible. Do I have to remove move my hard case to charge it? No. So JJ is really looking at this stuff from all angles, and that's what a good copywriter should do. Okay? So... Listen, look, just I'm just going to read through and you guys tell me if this is effective copy, okay? The one universal connector and tangle-free magnetic phone cable that can instantly supercharge your life. The perfect one-time purchase. Cable replacement that pairs well with iPhone, iPad, and Android OS technology for social media millennials and influencers alike. Charge me. Okay, that's our call to action. Charge me. How clever is that? Okay. All right. Fast charging, charges up to 45% faster, superior strength, blah, blah, blah. That's from our other stuff. Okay. All right. I like that. This is some cool ass copy, man. Yeah. And then, and then he just basically, you know, bre <laughs> breaks down how he thinks we can he can improve our copy. Okay. And then, oh, no, here, no, no, this is his copy. Okay. And he's obviously used, you know, he's used, we've changed that name, but that's the original. Right. Name. Okay. But the turbo fast charger charging cable plugs into your favorite device from all angles and charges your life up to 45% faster. But there's a problem. Oh my God, a problem. I better read on. You need one convenient magnetic phone cable that instantly, instantly snaps and connects for use in your car, truck, boat, etc whenever you are on the go or charging your life away from home from the home you are tired of replacing expensive cables that come with your unit every six to 12 months fumbling with plugs and phone charging cords that are too short making it rather uncomfortable to talk on your phone you are an avid gamer and play lots of games on your phone so you need the perfect connection and display every time for maximizing your gaming experience. You have an older phone and model. Is the turbocharger backwards compatible so you don't have to spend more of your hard-earned money on the latest upgrades in technology? So asking a question to get them to read on. You wish your magnetic phone charging cable lights up in the dark so you don't have to fumble around between the bed sheets while you put part of your life on hold for the next seven to 10 hours. Charge me. Save time and money with the most important accessory your device needs to capture those precious moments. Okay, and it goes on. Okay, so we really wanted to show you guys some copy of how to be ultra focused and how to seriously put the consumer right in the middle of that story and feeling that story. Okay, go away, Facebook, like seriously. Stop bloody messaging me, okay? And then finally, right, we're gonna we're gonna show you the results after this week and let you know how we go, okay? Now, one thing I want to point out here, and I'm late, so I really have to go, and so thank you guys all for tuning in, right? Is that in here, right? Well, on your actual landing page, you can use the word "you," okay? But on a Facebook ad, you can't, all right? No, no, they they make it like you you 
you're trying to manipulate people and stuff. Okay. All right. So just be aware of that, but also be aware of the power of copy and how you can make copy work really, really hard for your store. I'm expecting big things this week from this copy. Can't wait to drop it in. All right. So very, very quickly, just you can take me off now, Drew. Um, so guys, thanks for tuning in. Really sorry I got to go. Um, but I will see you guys next week with some awesome stuff. And of course, Drew, my man, my main man, as soon as I work, I'm going to work this out one day. My main man is going to take you through the rest of the stuff, okay? Now I've lost you, Drew. What's going on? I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, my man. I, I muted myself. <laughs> I said, um, thanks for being here. Obviously, of course, um, we know that you, you know, the, the timing can be off for you in a little bit, but I know you got to go. We thank you guys. If you guys appreciate Roy, just drop a beautiful comment down there below for him. I'm going to quickly get into a few more touches talking about the story brand for you guys before we go. Yep, Lori, I'll see you later, buddy. And, and a few things that we're going to talk about, guys, um, since we have to get out of there, is really quickly um, touch base about the power of your story, brand. because I want to stick to the topic. I won't hold you guys for too much longer. Um, I just want to show you guys, I know it's not what everybody probably wants to hear, right? But it's, it's one of the things you have to resonate because you're talking to your customers and how you relate to your customers is very important. Um, the words you use, the feelings you uh, inflect with them when they're on your page, the feelings that they get, right? Um, people forget what you've done. People will forget what you've, <clears throat> things that you've said, but they never forget how you made them feel, right? And that that's one of the uh, famous quotes by Maya Angelou. And that also translates to marketers and, and how they communicate with humans, right? Because they're, they're customers as well. Um, and I know we got a few questions in there, so um, I'm going to get to that in a second. So number one that I want to touch base with is um, the fact that your message, I, I took a few notes here, and it's going to be seven points that I want to touch on. So how to create the power of the story brand, right? The message has to be clear and speaks to your customer's needs, right? So the messaging being clear is going to be one of the biggest things you can do um, when it comes to say, stating exactly what you what you actually sell, right? So this, the story that Rory has shown with the tarot cards, you knew exactly right off the bat um, what the story was about, what they sold and who their audience and who they catered to, right? So being clear and speaking to your customers. Um, number two is your customers are the hero of your story. And one of the best people that were able to, uh, I think to really emulate this was apple.com. Apple really was able to allow you, the user of the device to be the hero when it comes to, um, you know, owning their, their piece of tech, whatever it was. If you had at the time when they released the iPod, um, the iPod allowed you to carry all your albums and your songs and your music in, in your pocket, right? And it'd be digital. Um, and it would, it would be just a higher quality. They made you feel like the superhero um, in your world because you were able to do what other companies just couldn't allow you to do, right? So they always uh, position the, the, um, their ads to be speaking to, to the point of view of the customer and allowing them to be the hero. Before, they had a problem, which they had to have records of CDs of all their favorite artists, but as soon as they leave the car, they couldn't take it with them. Now they allowed you to create your whole and, and make your whole audio collection mobile and, and put it in your in your pocket. So that's number number two. Number three is going to be focus your focus on your customer's villain. And a villain is going to be something very similar to like a problem that they need to solve, right? Like for example, the iPod, the problem was music wasn't mobile, right? And so now with is except for when the Walkman came out, but it wasn't is really um, idealistic to carry that big old watermelon looking thing around. So the iPod came on and it and really helped to um, keep things kind of um, neat and allows you to, to not really um, look kind of funny walking around with a big old Walkman in your pocket, right? Um, so again, your customers are the hero, right? And you want to focus on their villain. So that way you can focus on their villain being the problem or the distractions that they come across. Um, and your product should have the ability to defeat the villain. So somehow your product needs to be able to equip them with the, the tools they need in order to conquer the problem that they're constantly having. Um, and again, talking about Apple, that was the iPod. 
right? It helped to defeat the problem of not being able to carry all of your favorite music with you all at once, even if you have thousands, now you're able to do that easily with the iPod. Um, awesome. Uh, number four, I'm almost done here. Uh, guide your customers by being empathetic, meaning know how they feel and what they are going through. So putting yourself in your customer's shoes and being empathetic will allow you to write better copy. And again, guys, if you guys haven't already, the copy uh, for the ebook is already inside the, um, the comment section. It's in the link. I think Kevin actually just shared it a little while ago. Click that so you can go ahead and grab your copy of that. And Rory went over it a few, a few uh, moments ago. It's kind of a crash course to how to write good copy. You know, nobody starts off being great, right? You have to practice your store and see what your customers um, are liking, see what they're clicking on. And you can also track to see how long they, they're on your website reading about um, what you're writing. Um, <laughs> said people now nowadays probably don't even know what a walkman is in the 80s baby yeah i'm an 80s baby too so elijah we're on the same page my man um so yeah so that's perfect so making sure that you're empathetic with your customers and, and understanding and resonating with the problems that they may be having right and experiencing so you have to walk them through that experience okay um uh, number five is to ensure that they buy, you have to guide them through the process. So kind of create your page to be somewhat like a funnel, right? Um, and, and I'm going to quickly just share my screen really quickly so you guys can see. Actually, I'm going to keep my face here. So I'm going to see if this can work, right? This is this is my page here. So this is our, our tech. Check us out now, right? So if you see, like, or we're trying our best to, like, really make this as you know, guiding as possible. So that way we can guide our customers through all the benefits that they can see. And, um, and some of the things that, and this is the purpose of the copy, right? If you see here, it says, and I'm gonna make this full screen so you guys can see it. If you see here, it says, you know, like Rory was saying about the copy, sick of waiting for your cell phone to charge, question mark, right? That's the villain, right? That's what, who we wanna defeat, right? Sick of waiting for your cell phone to charge. And that frustration today with the lightning fast turbo magnetic charger, the one the charger that we offer, we're offering a solution to their problem. Boom, we got that done. And not only that, 2.4A of power increases your charge speeds by 45% to cut your waiting time in half. So we just killed two monsters, waiting time to charge and um, <clears throat> and, and um, the, the, the sickening uh, feeling of, of not having an, an easy to use charger. And we have that. Um, we also gave a visual here, and I always like to use visuals to show them how this product can be powerful. And we use videos here so that way you guys can see it in the, in the beginning. And you'll see it here really quickly. And not the whole thing. I'm just going to show a little bit, a little clip. Um, and you can see that right there, you know. And see how easy it is. You can play games without interfering or worried about breaking your actual charger, how strong the magnetic force is. If you have three different phones, that's um, a Samsung, that's an iPhone, and that's probably a Huawei or something like that, right? But it doesn't matter which phone they have, that image right there, let them know that it doesn't matter what phone you have, we have the solution and we're giving you the solution here through our charger cable. Um, and we let them know right off the bat, it's super strong, super flexible, super, super durable, and super tech, right? It's a little play on words there. Um, and then every single one of these slides, Right. I'm trying to make it find different ways to make it more capturing so we can keep our customers engaged to, you know, help them walk them through all of their possible villains and show them how our product can help defeat the villains or the distractions or the problems that they're experiencing through every single slide. So here, super strong. So if they're worried, OK, well, if they know it's a, it's a charger that can charge, how strong is it? Well, it's super strong. And it holds with my net magnetic. So gone are the days of you having to worry about um, connecting your, your phone the old school way in sliding your pin in, right? So now you just simply put it close enough and it attaches automatically via magnetic um, here. So if they have a question like, okay, well, how flexible is it? Well, we'll let you know right now. It's fuss free, uh, flexible 360 degrees. It's perfect. Um, and, then the, and then the call to action down here, it says, give it to me now. So if, if, at any point, if they feel convinced enough that they want to purchase, we didn't want to just have the opportunity to purchase at just the top and the last, right? And the bottom section. So every single one, if they find one that they're like, okay, well, this answers my question. These are all the questions I have. Give it to me now. Boom. And once they click that, it'll take them to the checkout page, which then they can choose how many they want to check out. Um, you know, so they worry about how flexible it is. And if it rotates, it answers all their questions there, right? Plug in your device at any angle. It doesn't matter. The turbo 
Chargers, super fast, super flexible. Boom. Break free, right? So it says super durable, braided nylon clothing. People say, okay, well, we know how strong it is. That's perfect. It's, a, it's, it's 360. It charges super fast. It makes connecting with multiple phones super easy. I don't have to worry about fumbling back and forth between iPhone if I'm at a party. And I bring, you know, if I have these heads available, like in my car or something, and somebody is in need of a charge, I can just whip this out real quick and say, hey, I, I have whoever in here needs a charge. I have something that can help you. Um, and boom. And then, of course, if it's late at night, like Roy was saying, each triple charger comes uh, with a nifty LED light display. So it lets you know where your cable is, especially in the dark. Right. So that's a fun add on to have. And then it lets you know, the LED indication lets you know um, that it's charging as well. Uh, and the personalization, which is pretty cool. People like, you know, different color choices if they want. And of course, you know, there's nothing better than getting your money back. The opportunity to get your money back is so important to me. And for me, if I don't, if I'm looking at a product and I, I'm not sure if I can get my money back, that's going to be one of the things that I'm like, eh, you know, you had me at hello, but you also, you know, lost me when you never gave an option for me to get my money back or a trial period or something for me to test something out to give me that cushion so that way, if in case I don't like the product as much as I, I thought I would, I can get it back. So now I have all my questions answered. They walk, I walk them through every single one of their possible problems. I'm like, all right, cool. I think I'm ready to buy. Give it to me now. Boom. I click it. It's going to take me over to the checkout section. So that's pretty much how that, how I was trying to um, explain to you guys how that works, right? So walk them through. Um, and again, the next uh, slide I have here, it says push customers to buy by giving a direct call to action. And direct call to action is give it to me now. Simple as that, right? Um, because uh, showing them the way, um, and, and you got to push them because, you know, show them what they will lose if they don't purchase is going to be the other thing. Like if you answered all your questions, you have to show them, okay, if you don't purchase, here are the things that you won't get. Here's what you're losing. You're losing the opportunity to defeat this villain or this problem that you've been having. And you see this product as a potential um, you know, uh, solution to your problem. But if you go ahead and choose to not purchase, here's what's going to happen. You're going to continually be living with the same problem and your situation will not change. Um, but if you do purchase this product, not only will you solve your own problem, but because it comes with extra adaptive heads, you can also solve the problems of others and be like the life of the party. Be like the guy who has the universal charger that charges everybody's phone. And you will be that person. And that's what we want to kind of convey with our charger, right? change your life? How can it transform them? I mean, I think that's uh, going to be one of the next points I was going to be here. How can it transform their lives? Like show your product and how it can transform the lives of the person by sharing that vision, right? Having maybe one of the ads we should run is somebody walking to a party and saying, oh man, my phone's going to die. And you're like, hey, I got you. And somebody says like, man, I forgot my charger. Another person says, don't worry, I got you. All right. And you only had like, you know, two charges, but you had different heads. So everybody's done charging and they all use the same charger, which was your charger. And because you purchased that charger, you literally transformed their lives by allowing them to have a charge phone. Funny, I know, but it, you know, it's one of the things you guys just gotta, you gotta test, right? And I think that'll be a fun ad to test. So that's pretty much how you, the power of your story brand and why it matters so much. Um, and that is all done through copy because copy is the only connection that you're able to have with your customers right? When you're not there, right? Your website is speaking for you. It's like your 24 hour salesperson and your 24 hour salesperson, AKA your website can only say what you have on it. Um, so it has to be clean. It has to be straight to the point. It has to speak to their um, needs. It has to answer the questions right away. They have to know exactly what problems that your product can solve just from looking at it. And then, um, and then also you have to know that if you're going to um, if they're going to purchase it, how will it transform their lives, right? You have to give them some benefits and how they're going to be able to transform their lives with your product, all right? And so with that being said, I hope you guys understand exactly where I was coming from with that. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't want to, again, like I said, I don't want to keep you guys too long. We're probably going to end right around the 6.30 mark or a little earlier. Um, and again, we're offering at the end of the live. I'm going to be showing you guys a discount code you guys can have to start, start with Shop Inspect if you haven't been able to um, try it out. We have a trial period, seven days. Um, you can test it out and see if you can find products that you can find that you, you think would be useful for you. And if you like Shop Inspect, um, you can go ahead and become full on paying members and be able to have it at your disposal at any point um, for doing any product research and starting stores um, and what and what, what have you. All right. 
Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, oh, and don't forget to do the hashtag live and hashtag replay because you guys can get your free Kevin David book. Um, we select one winner. So if you guys want to be a winner for the book, you know, go ahead. Hashtag live, hashtag replay. We're going to select winners by tomorrow just to let you guys know. So let's open up for questions and see what we got here. Um, let me change my screen. So matter of fact, I think it's going to keep the screen same. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. All right. Javier has been crushing it too. I haven't seen him a bunch of times coming up here. What's going on, buddy? Javier. Um, let's see who else we got. San, San, San Nicholas. What's going on? He says, his name is Jan Um, See you from DR. Awesome, man. Glad to see you here too. I'm glad, glad to see some new faces here. Um, Elijah Cook, what's going on, buddy? Your question was, uh, do we have to pay for shop inspect? I just got here, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, so you do have to pay for shop inspect. Let me show you really quickly um, what how much it costs because I brought that up while Rory was here. So this is what the shop inspect prices look like, right? Um, and don't forget that you know at the end of this, I'm going to give you the discount code for those of you guys who want to get 50% off either one of these that you want, right? So if you do with the monthly plan, you pay $47 a month. But if you go with the annual plan, which is the most popular plan, as you can see, um, you only pay 19 a month, but you're billed annually. So you build once a year and every month is only $19 as opposed to 47. So if you want to test it out and you don't want to just fully commit for the year, you can test it out by paying 47. But it just makes more sense instead of paying double to just pay the entire year, have it out of your way. And then you can go ahead and use it the entire year, 365 days as much as you want. But don't purchase yet, guys, because at the end of this lab, I'm going to show you the discount code that you can use to get this 50% off. And it doesn't matter what package you, you buy. And on top of that, the uh, when you purchase, um, if you join in, what you'll get also is going to be the, um, you're going to get the uh, one free premium video. The video that Rory showed you was called a standard video. The premium video is what I was showing you, how the product was being used and people were just swinging it around. You know, you get to see the product in actual use. So that thing is going to be cool. Let's see what else. Uh, yep. Kevin dropped the link in here for the um, ebook. So if you guys are interested in that, check that out right there. I think it's the ebook here that we're looking at. And if not, let me know and I can give you guys the ebook uh, link as well. Okay. Cool. Let me see who else has any more questions. <laughs> Somebody's doing the shout out for their YouTube and it's Alejandro Rosas. Yeah, check out the YouTube, I guess, if you guys want. Um, let me see. Elijah Cook, awesome to see you here. Elijah's on fire. Okay, cool, guys. Any questions? If not, um, that's perfectly fine. We've reached just about the end and I want to go ahead and give you guys the discount code for those of you guys who've been waiting patiently. If you guys, and again, we're just going to have this live. I just got off the phone with Lewis a little while ago. This is the link here. And we'll also be putting it inside of the actual, um, I think Kevin might be having it inside of the actual, uh, you know, comment section. But if you guys do, what you have to do is use the discount code 100K in 2020 for 50% off any of the packages you guys just saw here, right? Um, so if you want 50% off any of these prices there, um, what you're going to see is that the prices will go down to half. And then you also get one free premium video that you get with that purchase, all right? So um, what I would recommend you do is that you uh, email support at shopinspect.com and they will go ahead and forward you the code for the free premium video for the product you select. So guys, I really hope that everything that I shared here with you with in, in regards to the power of the story brand and how to speak to your customers and understanding that your web page that you're building is literally your 24 hour salesperson. So it's a funnel that you want to bring them in. You have to captivate them with your product and what problem it solves right away and then walk them through the sale, why they need it, why it's going to transform their lives. Why is it something that's really, really necessary? And once you've done that, they reach the point of sale, then they select they click on your call to action. You have to make sure you have an authoritative call to action. After you've done all the steps, walk them through, help them solve their problem, help them and, and tell them why this will fix their problem. And then they, they then you put a strong call to action, like give it to me now, you know, take my money or buy now, you know, buy it now. Um, and then they will go ahead and initiate, right? And we told you when we first launched it, we had 116 ads to carts, right? 
But the one mistake that we did make, you know, after we overlooked it because we were, you know, kind of quickly trying to put it up together. And this is fine, right? Learning process. We didn't comply with the 100% um, free shipping. And the worldwide free shipping was not worldwide for everybody. In the US, it was free, but then other people from other areas was trying to purchase. It was charging them like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, you know, which was like triple, quadruple the price of the actual product that we were selling. So of course, nobody purchased. So we looked into it, looked at our analytics. We called Shopify. We got on the phone. We just did what entrepreneurs would do. We figured it out, and Rory and I. And then I, um, we fixed it, got the site up and running again. And then we have two sales, and we only had our ad running for what, probably about three days now, right? And so our pixel is still learning. It's getting seasoned. We're changing. Um, we're trying out different audiences. And don't forget, Shop Inspect also shows you um, information really quickly. I just want to show you. Some of the information that Shop Inspect will allow you to um, see when you're building your ads, it will give you information, right? It will give you information. Uh, let me see if it'll log me in real quick. Uh, come on, you can do it. There you go. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So, like for example, right? If I go in to any of the products, let's say if I go on my favorites here, and I go to take a look at the one that we have let's say right here, right? So something similar, I should say. And you take a look at it, look at down here, it gives you some demographics. It shows you that, okay, well, we have majority of them is gonna be females is gonna be purchasing this. You have their age groups right here. You have, um, you know, the recommended price you should be selling the, the product or we upped our prices because we would make sure to include, you know, to have shipping included so everyone can have free shipping. Um, and of course, shipping in dirt, certain parts of the world is, is expensive, right? Um, this is a different product though. This is this is not 360. So this is like the only one. So our product is a little more expensive than that. So we have to adjust it accordingly. Make sure that your profit is there though, right? You have to make sure all the effort you're putting into that you're going to be able to get profit out um, from, your, from, from the price that you select. Here, suggested interest when you're doing ads targeting, some really general stuff, but it's a way, way to get you in the right path, right? You put gadget, I use mobile phone accessories, I use mobile phones, and I also put Samsung, Apple, apple.com, and a few other things as interests. Um, and one of the important interests that I found was um, I told Facebook, find me people with online shopping habits, meaning people who purchase and, and buy things online on a regular. And, and, it, and through that, that's how we were able to, you know, get our initial purchases. So now we get to fine tune that, right? We get to run traffic campaigns now along with our conversion campaigns to bring more people onto our website. And again, we might test out other countries, right? Because I shrank it down to only three countries. Now we get to open up to another set of three countries to see which one has more activity. Because it was clear that one country showed a lot more interest than another. Why would you spend money where your product is not popular? So... These are the things you have to learn. And this is why it's cool if you have some money um, to run some ads, to push traffic to your website because nobody knows you exist yet. So it's important to learn how to do Facebook ads. And in the course, Kevin shows you how to do, how to run some ads to your actual product and how to do so profitably. And you can start very small, like $5 per ad per day. Um, so you can test to see which one it, which ones are winners. So you don't have to dump thousands of dollars. You hear e-com, people talk about that all the time. I jumped thousands of dollars or I did it with no ads. So if they did it with no ads, they found a way to get their um, their product in the eyes in the front of a lot of people um, through other mediums, right? They might know somebody who has a following. They might do an Instagram shout out, you know, it, 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 and there's so many ways you can do that. We're looking into Instagram shout outs as well, just to kind of see which one is the most lucrative and easiest to get you know, your product out there as front of many eyeballs as possible. So uh, what's a good budget, Elijah asks. Um, so it depends like this, when it comes to Shopify, like if it was, if it was, um, <laughs> I said, never mind. Um, when it comes to Amazon, I mean, it, it, it's easier to say you need this as a budget, you know, to keep you there. But what's a good budget for Shopify really depends on what you have available, right? So I would say, uh, what I found to be the best to get the quickest amount of data was between ten to twenty dollars was the best. Um, so for, I think the max we spent was twenty dollars a day um, when it came to conversions because conversions cost more, which is why we always tell people do engagement, get that social proof, and then you run the um, traffic campaigns, and then you can run conversion campaigns because through the whole process your your pixels getting seasoned. So um, between ten to twenty dollars a day is what we do. Um, and what we have done, and I've gotten the most data, obviously, when you're able to spend more, you get more data. 
Yeah, awesome, man. So perfect. All right, guys, well, no more questions. Um, if you have any more questions afterwards, I'll be hanging around offline for probably another hour or so. Um, I love that you guys who are here right now, take advantage of the actual link down, down below. Again, the code is 100K in 2020, 50% off the prices I showed you earlier. So everything's cut in half. Um, let me know if you're experiencing any issues. I'm here to help just tag me at your Romeo and you'll find me in the group. Still coming over this code, guys, it's super annoying. Um, and once you once you logged in and you purchase, go ahead and hit support at shopinspect.com. Send them a message say, hey, I just purchased. Where is my free code for the premium video? They'll send it to you right away, okay? So I wish you guys nothing but the best. Next week, same time, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know a lot of time for you guys. We had daylight savings time here in the U.S., so I know it just messed everybody up, sometimes like messing them up by an hour. Catch the replay. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Peace and love always and keep hustling. I'll see you next week.